Hey guys, uh, I'm going to do a couple tutorials, real quick ones on how to easily rig your character and it is a lot easier than you think. Um, I know that there's a lot of information out there about how to use the joint tool and that is valuable to know. However, um, in some cases you don't want to take that much time and effort into rigging your character and there are some pretty easy workarounds. Um, in fact, I'm going to show you one today that you can get rigging your, you can have your character rigged in, in literally minutes. Uh, so what we have here is a robot that I created for the Denver Museum of Nature and Science, their robot exhibit. And the idea was that this robot would be in use with augmented reality, which if you're not familiar with, um, I suggest you go out there and, and look it up. It's kind of cool. It's coming. Um, but uh, basically what I did is I have my, my whole robot. He's modeled. You know, it's not perfect. But I've put him together, and I think he's looking pretty cool. And he actually looks exactly like the little 3D model that they gave me. Um, so from here, wh what do we do? Well, there's a tool called... Mixamo and oops um, what you can do is go to their auto rigger now how do you what do you do well if you want to just rig your character just click on that and simply upload this character so I'm gonna select the character I have my robot in here somewhere as a so what do you do? So we first would export him as an FBX. And let's just call it Tutorial Robot. Right on the desktop there. Okay. Simple. And then we go to a program called Mixamo, which is just Mixamo.com. You're going to have to create a login, but it is free. Um, and so it'll look like this when you log in. You're going to go to the auto rigger and you're going to click rig your character. I'm going to click upload. Find my tutorial bot. And it takes a moment. But this is just incredibly easy the way it works. You will get an error if there are any joints or any polys that are not connected and I have a little white blemish in my eyeball it's because I had another glow object in there I would normally remove that but I'm gonna leave that little guy in there for right now but as you see it does a really good job of bringing in your your model and then it's gonna ask you just to put a couple things in here you know it's not even that strict really but you're gonna they're all labeled groin knees and my guy does not have fingers so I'm gonna make sure that I don't have a hand otherwise it would break those polys where his hands are Click next. The auto rigging process begins. And it says it can take up to two minutes. And it usually does take about two minutes. But you will get feedback pretty quickly if you do have a rigging error. And then look at that. We've got a modeled rigged robot. And he's good to go. Now notice he has skin, so he's pulling on these polys. And he looks very, very human like. So I can now view this guy in my assets. And he's ready for download. So I could just download from here, which I think I will. Downloading. And then we're going to bring him back in. So let's just merge him. know where it's saved I think that's my guy and he's actually in there so let's get rid of this other robot and you'll see we now have a complete skeleton that matches up perfectly with my robot and we've got skin objects on all of the polygons in my mesh here so if you want to test it out let's go in let's grab my spine oh he's gonna look around a little bit for some reason my arm is still in there for the robot 
Uh, I can take my leg and boom, I can move him around, which is very cool. So that is pretty sweet, right? You've got a rig character as simple as you never, as simpler than you ever thought possible. Um, I also urge you to check out in um, in Mixamo, you can actually take your character and you can take any one of these animations and simply add that per add that animation to your character. Now my character is running. Now he's jamming on a guitar. Okay. Uh, he's well, that's more running. He's doing Thriller by Michael Jackson. Um, I mean, and you can just simply add that to your assets, download, and bring that right into Cinema 4, Cinema 4D. Um, so it's pretty cool. And I'll show you one final thing, one polished video that I made. So then you can do stuff that's cool like this. Hi there. Come see me at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science on March 18th. It will surely blow your circuits. So that is how you easily rig your character using Cinema 4D and Mixamo.